doing? I'm so excited that today we get to do Kids Church together online. Yay! We're going to be hearing about a really exciting story today. It's taken from the book of Joshua, which is in the Old Testament in the Bible. And we're going to be hearing about a guy called Joshua, two spies, and a lady called Rahab. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Before we get started, let's pray. And remember, when we pray, we close our eyes, we bow our heads, and we talk to God. Okay, are you ready? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that we are able to, to have church online and be together as a community. Dear Jesus, open our ears that we can hear and understand your word and open our hearts to love you more and more. In your mighty name we pray, amen, amen. All right, so let's get into our story. So after 40 years of wandering around in the wilderness, all the grown-ups who had not trusted in God died and Moses died too. So Joshua, and here's Joshua, was chosen to take the place of Moses and to lead the new generation into the land which had been promised to Abraham. Joshua encouraged the people to obey God, to listen to him, and trust that he would help them get into the promised land. Joshua sent two spies. There's my first spy, and there's my second spy. And he sent them to check out the land before them, especially the city called Jericho. A woman whose name was Rahab, and here's Rahab, did not have a very good reputation, so people didn't think very nice things of her. But she was kind to the spies, and she hid them in her home. So here's Rahab's home, and she helped to hide the spies. And she had to hide them to keep them safe from the king of Jericho, who wanted to kill them. Rahab told the two spies that she had heard about their god, and how he had led them out of Egypt. All the nations were terrified of Joshua and the Israelites because they knew that God was with them. Rahab asked the men if they could spare her life. And you know what they told her? They told her that they would save her life because she had saved their lives. The two spies told Rahab that when they came to attack the city, she had to stay inside her house with her family and she had to hang a red rope outside of her window and she would be saved. Rahab believed what the men said was true. At nighttime, she let the men out her window by a rope so that they could return to Joshua and the Israelites. The men told everyone that God was going to help them and he was going to give them the land that he had promised them. After a few days, Joshua made sure that the people's hearts were right before God. He told the people that God was going to do amazing things. When they reached the River Jordan, here's our river, God told Joshua that as the 12 men who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant touched the shoreline, so touched the shore of the river, the river would stop flowing. So the water in the river would stop moving, it would stop going. This is exactly what happened. God stopped the river flowing and it built up like a wall further upstream. And the Ark of the Covenant, Joshua, and all the Israelites crossed the river on dry ground. As soon as the men carrying the Ark of the Covenant stepped out of the water, the river went back to flowing as usual. So the 12 men 
who stood for the 12 tribes of Israel. They gathered stones and they made an altar and they thanked God. It served as a reminder that God was with them. And just as he was with them when they fled Egypt and he parted the Red Sea, God was with them when they had to cross through the River Jordan. I wonder how God is going to help the Israelites conquer all the nations that stand in their way. Tune in next week to find out. Okay, so today we're going to learn a song. Some of you might already know this song. So I'm going to sing the first line and then I'll pause and let you sing it after me. And then we're gonna learn the actions. Okay, are you ready? The first line goes, so when I go like this, it's my turn. And when I go like that, it's your turn, okay? So, my turn. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. Your turn. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. My turn. There's nothing my God cannot do. Your turn. There's nothing my God cannot do. Let's try the whole thing together, okay? So first my turn, and then your turn. My turn. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Your turn. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Well done! Now let's do it with the actions, okay? You ready? So, repeat after me. Okay, copy what I do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Your turn. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. One more time, all together, so you and I will do it at the same time, okay? Nice and loud. Let's really raise our voices to God, okay? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing 